。Chatting 的朋友们，大家好，新年快乐！欢迎来到Chinese Talk about to impress them, or if they are Chinese, you can really show off your stuff. So, for starters, what should you wear? Probably not this. Alo Changshan and Qi Bao for women or other traditional Chinese clothing are still worn for Chinese New Year. Typically, people will wear red of those things, or sometimes they'll wear other colors like this one,、uh, but. Definitely not black or white for the Chinese New Year holiday. I am not Chinese, which is one of the reasons I don't think I would wear it. Although I want to be clear, most Chinese people get very excited when they see foreigners, as they call us, even if we're here in America, wearing their traditional clothing. They think it's really exciting and cool. But that is not always the case. Of course, there is the risk of people feeling like you are culturally appropriating their traditions. That is not at all my intention. As I've said, I truly respect and admire Chinese people. If you're going to a Chinese party and you have a Changshan or you own a Chipao, your best course of action before wearing and showing up, if you don't want to offend anybody, is to call ahead and ask your host. They'll probably be excited you're even asking the question. So now that we've figured out what you maybe shouldn't wear, maybe should wear, what if it's a more casual gathering? Or what if you don't own a Changshan? What should you wear instead? Well, typically for the Chinese New Year holiday, people will wear red. Or at least something new. The whole thing about the new year is about tossing out all the bad from the past year and bringing in the new. For example, you see this Fu right here. This is the character right side up. Over here, I made it in Lego, upside down. You'll see those in decorations all over the place in Chinese New Year because it's all about dumping the blessings. That's what Fu means: blessings or luck. Into the new year, you're pouring out the blessings and the luck, and in the same way, you're not going to wear old clothes that have all your bad luck or all the misfortune from the previous year with you. You're going to wear something new and refreshing. But a holiday is not just about clothes; it's also about celebration. So, what do you say to celebrate Chinese New Year? One of the first things you can say is "Xin Nian Kuai Le." That just simply means Happy New Year. So I'm going to go through that a little bit slower, so you can learn how to say it. So first, sheen. You say that like you're singing a little bit. Sheen, like the sheen on metal, and when it sparkles, it's got that high pitch. So sheen. That's the first. Then nian. Nian almost sounds like the beginning of nian kum poop, but you got to say it a little bit rising. And nian means year. So sheen nian, New Year. Sheen nian, and then kuai le. You say kuai le. A little bit sharper and a little bit harder, and they mean happy. Kuai is like Y with a K at the beginning. Kuai, and then La is like La 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 Di Da Di Da Di. I don't know, just La. Xin no, Xin Nian Kuai La. Say it with me. Xin Nian Kuai La. Perfect. You've got it. Another greeting people often use around the New Year is Gong Qi Fa Zai. It's not necessarily proprietary to the New Year, but what it means is just maybe you have a prosperous future ahead of you. Gong is also another sing songy sound, and it's basically the sound a gong makes, but with an O sound as opposed to an A sound. So Gong, and then she is just her. Like look at look at her. She's cool. She. So it, that one you just say kind of neutrally. So Gong Qi. Then fa, which is like do re mi fa fa, so it's just like a sing song one again. So, gong shi fa, and then the last one is tai, which the best way to think of that one is you're saying the word sai out loud. So, 
For this one, though, you have to want to say it a little bit like it's a question. So rising at the end. So, gong shi fa cai. Say it with me. Gong shi fa cai. Perfect. You've got it. With those two phrases, xi nian kuai le, and gong shi fa cai, you're sure to impress any Chinese friends you might have this New Year's holiday. But enough about what to say. You're really here, so you know what to do. Well, you gotta decorate for the new year. I mean, this is mostly important if you're having people over to your home, but people decorate anyways. Chinese New Year, Chinese New Year is more similar to a traditional American Christmas holiday than a traditional American New Year's holiday. And with that comes a lot of decorations. But before you decorate, you have to clean out. Again, Chinese New Year is all about getting out with the old things and bringing in the good new, which is why you clean your home before Chinese New Year. On Chinese New Year's Eve, there's a couple different activities people participate in. One of the most exciting of those traditions is the handing out of the red envelopes. Typically, children will receive red envelopes that have money in them. It's like their Christmas present. Gifts are also sometimes exchanged, especially from adults to adults, but not always, and it's definitely not necessary. And you definitely would not give a friend a Chinese New Year red envelope with money in it. Again, if you are participating with friends that are Chinese and you want to bring their children a red envelope, you will see them get super excited. But another word of caution, it's best to ask the parents ahead of time how much money to put in the red envelopes. Typically for most small children, one or two dollars, maybe five, is all you would need. Also on Chinese New Year, people will typically watch people perform traditional Chinese dances. In China, there are numerous televised broadcasts of Chinese New Year celebrations that have these dances for people to watch. In addition to that, it is very traditional on Chinese New Year to watch fireworks. Like the 4th of July, but even grander. All across the country of China, there will be fireworks going on. Another common activity on Chinese New Year's Eve to do with... Another common activity to do with friends and family on Chinese New Year's Eve is to make and wrap dumplings together. If you're doing this with friends, they probably will know how to do it and they'll teach you how. But I've also linked in the description some instructional videos on how to wrap a dumpling. Uh, it's a pretty simple task. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you do it poorly, they explode, but then people tease you and it's, it's a bonding moment. But dumplings alone don't make a meal. So what other food people eat for Chinese New Year? Well, fish is the typical Chinese New Year dish. Yu, the Chinese word for fish, sounds similar to another Chinese word that means prosperous. And so fish are often eaten. Another traditional food consumed for Chinese New Year are oranges, specifically small oranges. This is due again to another play on words, meaning having blessings or fortune. Basically, on Chinese New Year, people eat, and they eat a lot with family. So you can't go wrong, just have a nice good big meal with Chinese food, and you're celebrating Chinese New Year. Well, what else? I've talked a lot about Chinese New Year's Eve and Chinese New Year Day when you always got to wear those crisp, clean new clothes. But I said this is a seven-day holiday, and Chinese New Year's Eve is only the first day of that. So, what about for the rest of it? Well, basically the rest of it is just great family time. You spend time with your family, you might do more fireworks, you might do more dancing, all sorts of things. Again, it's very similar to our Christmas where people take an extended break. Well, with that, thank you for letting me share something I love with you. And, gong shi fa zai, play hard and celebrate on. This should be enough information. This should be enough information to get you started, but for more resources, check the description below.